The rat population in many parts of our state is out of control. Traps aren't working, and soon rat poison may not be allowed. Kit Doe shows us the obstacles that can pose in this California rat race. You're looking at video of a so called fisher with a confirmed case of toxicosis. It got sick after eating rodents that had eaten poison bait themselves. Biologists, park rangers, and wildlife experts have been finding traces of rat poison in the carcasses of predators for years. But in March of this year, a popular mountain lion known as P47 was found dead in the hills above Los Angeles County. A necropsy showed P47 had six different rat poison compounds that contaminated his liver, and he died a slow, agonizing death from internal bleeding. Seeing him lying dead because of exposure to these toxic poisons, that is a very, very big wake-up call. Allison Hermans with Wild Care based in San Rafael says the death of P47 was the tipping point for an all-out rat poison ban statewide. AB 1788 cleared the assembly earlier this summer by a wide margin, and if it passes, 1788 88 would ban four so-called second-generation anticoagulant rodenticides, with some exceptions. The problem with the ban is that some California cities are being overrun by rats. At Los Angeles City Hall, there was a typhus outbreak earlier this year when fleas carrying the disease were spread by rats that had infested a nearby homeless encampment. And so the pest control industry is sounding the alarm, saying if AB 1788 passes, the rat population could boom. The Pest Control Operators of California has lobbied for amendments that include broadening buffer zones near sensitive wildlife habitat and requiring the purchase of stickers in order to more tightly restrict the usage of the poisons. We need every tool possible to knock down these populations. If you take an important tool out of the toolbox, then it leaves us with... <laughs> more challenges. You can kill as many as you like, but if you still have something that is attracting rodents, if you have open garbage, if you have anything that is attracting rodents, it doesn't matter how many you poison, there will still be more. The bill has cleared the assembly. Lawmakers could vote on it by the end of the summer.